Hi, my name is Eva Katz, and um, today we're going to be making one of my favorite recipes, chicken shawarma. Um, we're going to incorporate it with vegetables and beans and kind of do it in a sheet pan in the oven. And it's quick, it's easy, and it makes a lot of food that can be served in a couple different ways. So let's get started. Um, first, I'm going to prep my cauliflower. I'm taking a whole head of cauliflower. It's about two pounds ish. And I'm just going to remove the leaves. And I'm going to go in from the core end, flip the cauliflower over, and I'm just going to take my knife and cut around the core, and the cauliflower fillet should just fall off. All right, and then we're going to discard this core. Doing it this way prevents um, when you cut your cauliflower from the head up, sometimes you get a lot of like cauliflower crumbs, things sort of fall off. Doing it this way, you don't lose so much. I'm just going to cut it into pieces like that. All right, so I'm done with cutting all my cauliflower florets. I'm going to transfer, transfer it to a bowl. I'm going to prep my chicken. I'm going to take a flexible sort of cutting board so I don't cross contaminate my nice wooden board. And I'm going to put it right on top. I'm going to take my chicken. And what I'm doing is I'm just going to sort of remove some of this excess fat. I'm using chicken thighs. Chicken thighs are a little more forgiving, um, they tend to um, hold up better if they're a little overcooked, they're a little more forgiving. I'm going to put the chicken in there when I'm done. And they taste better. In my humble opinion, I take chicken thighs over chicken breasts any day. So, but we don't want all this excess fat. You don't have to go crazy. A little bit's okay. I'm just taking the big globs off. pound and a half of chicken here. So I'm done with my chicken. I've got that in a bowl. I'm going to now remove my chicken contaminated cutting board. Wash my knife and my hands so I don't have any more cross-contamination. Okay. Now I'm going to add my canned chickpeas. Um, I rinse them. There's a lot of salt on canned chickpeas, so it's a good, good idea to rinse them. Those are going to go in the bowl with, and now we're going to make a dressing. Um, so this has got the shawarma flavors going on. So I've got um, cumin, paprika, cayenne, turmeric, cinnamon, and coriander here in this bowl and then some salt and pepper, two teaspoons of salt and pepper each. And um, we're gonna make a dressing with this. We need some garlic. What's shawarma without garlic? We need, I'm using four cloves. I'm just taking the side of my knife and pounding it, and then the skin should pop right off. And I do want a pretty fine paste with this, so I am going to use my garlic press. You could also use a chop it by hand, or you could use a microplane grater. Lemon juice, quarter of a cup, a tablespoon 
of honey, and this will help with giving my um, chicken some browning, and help with caramelizing the chicken. And a third of a cup of olive oil. Just gonna give this a whisk. vegetables and the rest is going to go on the chicken I don't know you but I just think sheet pan meals are the best you just everything gets sort of put in the oven at once and you can walk away and then when you come back you have a meal and you haven't dirtied multiple pots and pans you actually could have um, tossed this on the sheet here, which I should have done. Saved myself a bowl. Anyway, I'm just going to make sure it's all coated very, really nice. And I'm going to push this to one side of the pan. Okay. And we're going to lay our chicken on the second side. And I have my oven preheated at 450 degrees. And if you have a convection oven, you can use a convection oven. You'll get a little more browning. Set it for 425. All right, so here we go into the oven. You know, you can think about this as a template for a lot of other meals. You can switch up your beans, you can switch up your vegetables. This would be delicious with, let's say, eggplant and red onion and chickpeas. Um, yeah, you can be kind of whatever's in season. You could switch this up. You could make this uh, tofu. You could, um, you could use chicken breasts. If you do use chicken breasts, I recommend that you get them on the bone so um, they cook a little slower and the bones will help them stay moist. So, in the oven. So while the chicken's in the oven, we're gonna make a tahini sauce to go along with the chicken shawarma. I've got um, half a cup of tahini sauce in my bowl and I am going to add a couple more cloves of garlic to this. Spoons of salt, I mean of lemon juice, and I'm going to give it a whisk. And if it, what happens when you add lemon juice to tahini is it can seize up and become really super thick. See that? It's sort of turning into sort of this crazy thick taste. Boop. Anyway, that's not ideal. So we're going to add a little water, thin it down. So we're getting close to a good consistency. This would be a nice consistency for a veggie dip, but if you want to make it a little bit more saucy, a little bit more water. Uh, you can also make this with yogurt if you want a little bit tangier. It's pretty good. We're just going to season it with salt and pepper and set it aside. Go for it. Okay, let's see if they're done. I'm checking them about five minutes before the 30 minute mark. There's some nice browning here. I could use a little bit more over here. I'm gonna just pop it back in for another five minutes. And, all right, I've pulled out my sheet pan meal, shawarma, out of the oven. I'm gonna take a couple pieces of chicken. I let it cool for a few minutes. Slice it. Um, a couple ways you can serve this. You can make a bowl out of it with some grains, rice. Um, you can make a pita pocket. So you could have one meal is a bowl. One meal might be a pita pocket. Um, salad. So I happen to have 
some brown rice here and a bag of cooked quinoa I made. I was making something with quinoa, so I made a little extra. I stuck it in this bag and froze it. I'm just gonna mix it with my brown rice. Kind of give it a little extra nutrition. Pieces of chicken. Some vegetables. And let's pop it with a little bit of chopped parsley. Just roughly chopped is fine. A little tahini sauce. And you can also top it with a little accoutrements. I've got a little cheese, cucumbers, a little cabbage. Alternatively, you might want to serve it with a salad. Just on a bowl of greens. Maybe it drizzles with a little lemon juice. Olive oil. Same deal, same accoutrements, slightly, you know. Ooh, there you got it. You got salad with chicken shawarma, rice bowl with chicken, rice and quinoa bowl with chicken shawarma, roasted cauliflower, chickpea, deliciousness, balance.